According to one study, rear-end collisions account for about 29% of all traffic accidents resulting in serious injury. These crashes result in a substantial number of injuries and fatalities each year. In fact, roughly 1.7 million rear-end collisions take place in the United States each year. Of these nearly 2 million accidents, about 1,700 people die and another 500,000 are injured in the crashes. Let me show you how you can easily reduce your chances of getting rear-ended. By watching this video, I will show you how easy it is to protect yourself from a distracted driver. Okay, I found this one on eBay. I paid 12 bucks for mine, but you can find them as cheap as four bucks here. And I've seen complicated ones go as high as 80 to $100. This one's nice because it also has free shipping. As you can see in the description, it's made for LEDs. It's universal and of course, easy installation. As you may or may not know, throughout my whole channel, everything that I show you, I don't get paid for it. So if you choose to use this one or not, that's totally up to you. It doesn't matter to me. So let's see what this thing looks like. Well, I have to admit, the shipping was pretty fast. I think it got here in about four days. Looks like they give you some wire connectors. And I think this is a two-sided adhesive tape. Wiring looks pretty simple. And you've got an in and an out. So the in would be from the battery side and the out would be towards the light. I remembered when I replaced my center light, there was two wires. So this should be pretty simple. By the way, if you need to replace your center light, go ahead and click above on the right hand corner and it will take you there. Well, let's get to work. Okay, you can see right now how my center light currently is working. It just goes on and off when you step on the brake. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the hatch. As you can see, I have a picture here of my center light already taken out, which I found out later I didn't have to do. So if you see my center light removed, do not remove the center light. You don't have to do this. You could do this job without removing the center light. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to look at the plug where that wire goes. It goes into the headliner, so I'm going to pull this trim off here and find out what's going on behind there. This trim here easily unsnaps. All you got to do is pull down. I do have this tool here. I got it from Harbor Freight. It runs about six bucks. It takes these plastic clips off. It's a pretty handy tool to have. Just pull down on that plastic pin and it'll pop out. You can leave that little plastic pin in there. So I'm going to reach in there, follow that wire, see where it goes. And I can feel there's a plug there. So this outside wire plugs into the wire that's on the headliner. If your hand is hard to get in there between the headliner there and the roof, you might want to remove this side panel here. It comes off the same way. It has the same clips. Just pull the side out and then pull towards the driver in the front and it'll pop right out. There's four clips. That should give you a little more freedom to get your hand in there. We're going to have to do some cutting and splicing in there. Okay, here's the connector. What we want to do now is we want to unplug this connector. If you look at the plug, don't look at the screwdriver. Above, you're going to stick your screwdriver and the way the arrow is faced, you're going to shove the screwdriver downward and it unclips the plug. Now that we have it unplugged, I need to cut the plug that's coming from the body. Do not cut the light plug. 
But first I need to get some of this tape out of the way. Once you have that tape out of the way, go ahead and cut about two or three inches back from that plug. Now go ahead and splice the two wires. I cut it back about an inch. By the way, I'm not going to use those red connectors that they gave me. I never have any luck with those, so I'm just going to do it the old method. This is what it looks like when you have both wires spliced. Now we're going to grab the module and we're going to look for the outside of the module, which are the black and white wires. Now that we got both wires spliced, we're going to grab the module. We're going to splice back about the same length as we did before. Now that we got both wires spliced, we're going to grab the module. You want to grab the side that says out. For me, it's the black and white wires. All I'm going to do now is connect black to black. Then I'm going to connect the green wire to the white wire. Once I've got them twisted together, I'm going to take some black electrical tape and tape it really good. So far, this has been pretty easy. I'm sure there's better ways in attaching these wires, but for now, I'm just jonesing it. Once I have both of the wires connected and taped, I put them together and I put one piece of tape and wrap them all together, all at once. You can go ahead now and splice the red and black wires, just like you did with the black and white. Once you've done that, let's go up back to the headliner and splice those two wires that are in there. Once you splice the two wires, you're going to connect them the same way. You're going to connect black to black. and red to that green wire. You're gonna twist the wires, put tape on, like you did the last time, on both wires, and then take one tape and wrap them both together. So as you can see, wiring this module is really easy. As long as you connect black to black, you're safe in wiring this thing together. Okay, it looks like we're done wiring this thing together. Now at this point, you're gonna need someone to stand behind your vehicle so you can test the light and see if everything's working properly. All you have to do is just go in your vehicle and step on the brake and it should come on. All right, success. Everything's working like it should. Now all we have to do is just shove the wires in the module in the headliner. Let's go ahead and snap that side piece in.
Let's go ahead and push that plastic clip in so it snaps in. Now let's grab that top piece of molding and snap it into place. Okay, it looks like we're all done. See how easy that was? Now we're protected from those distracted drivers. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.